back to Corby Q. I'm Corby. Trying to go fishing. I have been out here all day and I haven't gotten a bite. Whoa. Oh, I think I got one. Oh. Here it comes. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. It looks like the famous never seen Cajun tilapia. Let's get this rolling. Today we're going to do my take on fish and chips. Now for the fish we're going to use that freshly caught tilapia that you saw me reel in earlier. And we're going to do that in papio, which means in parchment. And we're going to add some freshly cut carrots and some leeks and some balsamic vinegar. And we're going to wrap it up and we're going to cook it out on the grill at about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now for the chips portion, I got some hand cut potatoes that I'm going to double fry. So what I want you to do is squeeze in around the, uh, the countertop here, and I'll show you how I got everything prepared. All right, right here I got about uh, 10 medium to large sized potatoes and my old, really old potato french fry maker. Picked it up at a garage sale a while ago. You just put the potato in, pull it down on the handle, and on the other side it spits out french fries. Another uh, another potato just showing you. you. Just push that on the handle and voila, French fries. Now here's all ten potatoes, all French fried up. And what I did was um, I covered them in cold water, rinsed them out, got all the starch out of it, drained them, replaced the water. Did that about twice. And there we go. So I got a fryer here filled up with some shortening. I gotta heat it up to 325 degrees. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna par fry these first for about, oh, five to seven minutes. I know it's not an air fryer and I know this is unhealthy and I know Christie's cooking channel is probably gonna give me a hard time for, you know, using the grease, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this the old fashioned way and the very heart unfriendly way. So I'm gonna get a couple handfuls I have these potatoes over here, they, I've rinsed them off, they've been soaking in water, they're dry. I'm going to put a couple handfuls right into the basket. I'm going to fry them, like I said, for about five to seven minutes. This is just going to par cook them, par fry them. Here's the first batch, they are, they are par cooked all the way through. They're really, really soft. So I'm gonna let them drain for a couple seconds, maybe. I'm gonna put it over here on some uh, some paper towel so I can drain them and let them get cool. As soon as I get this done, I look at the second batch in the fire. Here is the second batch. I'm gonna go ahead and drop those in. Let those go for about uh, six minutes, like I did the other ones. So once they are par baked, par fried, sorry, I will get them on some more uh, paper towel. I'll let them dry them up to room temperature probably, let them cool off a little, then I will double fry them once I'm getting ready to pull the fish off again. Catch up with you in a bit. I can see what's happening, yeah. Face to face with greatness and it's strange. Open your eyes, let's begin. Yes, it's really good to get some more weight. Breathe it in. It's a lot the hair the pot when you're staring at a demigod what can i say except you're welcome to the eyes the sun the sky and no need to pray it's okay you're welcome but i'm just an ordinary demigod i got two carrots and one leek and I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, chopped up. I'm going to take the leek. I, I rinsed it in some water. I let it sit in some water. Um, it's filled with sand and dirt. So I just rinsed it under cold water, let it sit in a bucket of cold water, and got all of the dirt and the sand out of it before I uh, used it for the meal. 
peeled some carrots, took the skin off them with my de-skinner. Now they don't have any skin. Went ahead and chopped them up. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to matchstick these carrots up. Just chopped each one into thirds. Did some vertical cuts, flipped them over, did some more horizontal cuts, made them into matchsticks. This is the last one I'm cutting up right here on camera. Then I took the leek, and I'm just going to use the, the middle portion of it. I went ahead and cut off the root end. And then I tried to slice it on the bias. My knife isn't the greatest, as you'll see right here. I just did a couple slices, and then I started doing some quicker down slices. So I get that all chopped up and ready to go. And then I'm going to get them in a bowl with the carrots. Okay, here I've got the tilapia. It's a Cajun, Cajun style tilapia. I'm just going to cut these open. And I'm going to drain all that, that liquid out because I'm going to reserve that liquid for later use. I'm actually going to, um, I'm actually going to soak the, uh, the carrots and the leeks in, them, in it before I put it in the parchment paper. Go ahead, set that aside. Like oil, some Cajun seasoning, I'm sure. Paprika, salt, and pepper. I really didn't check, but I'm sure it's usual. The usual suspects for the Cajun seasoning. Smells decent. All right, I'm gonna get the carrots and the leeks in here, and I'll be right back with that. I added the carrots and the leeks to the, uh, the juice that was in the fish here. I'm also gonna add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Give that a toss. I'm gonna refrigerate it until I'm ready to wrap the fish. Just uh, regular old balsamic vinegar. Go ahead and give that a quick toss. And it all get incorporated. Then I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let them marry. You know, I'm gonna, um, you know, it's the carrot, the carrot's dad. Kind of took a shotgun to the leak and said, you're marrying my kid. So it's kind of a shotgun winning. It's prearranged. I had this all set up to go. So I'm going to get this in the fridge and let it sit for a little bit. Okay, be right back. Quick shout out to Chef John Polite. You can see I have my gloves on. Here's how we do the in poppy oat portion of it, which is just in parchment paper. I'm going to go ahead and put a little layer of veg down, a little bed of veg. Get the carrots and the leeks on there and some of that sauce. I'm going to get the tilapia filet. I'm going to put it on top. Actually, we're going to put a lemon on, on it first. Then go ahead and lay the filet on top of it. And I'm going to start to fold this, um, this bag that we're going to make out of this parchment paper. I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves off. Go ahead and then I am going to fold over one piece on top of the filet. And I'm going to make a little crease in the paper, fold over the edge. And what you want to do with the edges, you want to get it as tight as possible. You want to get a nice seal. I used the back of a spoon to get it nice and flat. Then you just follow that little fold all the way around the bag until you get to the very end. Having a little trouble with it right here. Haven't done it in a while. It's been a bit since I've tried it. Just go ahead and fold it, move around, fold it, move around. And then when you get to the bottom, you want to try to get a really, really tight seam so none of the liquids come out that you're going to steam the fish in. And before I close it up, I'm going to pour a little bit of white cooking wine with lemon in it. Just to add some extra liquid to the bag so it, you know, it steams while it's in there. And I will go ahead and get this all wrapped up and I'll uh, get back to you when we get this out onto the grill. last little bit all right grill is at 400 degrees holding between 390 and 400 i'm just going to go ahead and put these right onto the grates get them on there and let the fishes uh sleep with the fishes as they say sleep little fish okay here's me cutting open the bag after 20 minutes on the grill i'm gonna be careful when you're cutting this open because it is very hot and the steam possibly could burn you i wish i would say i wish that you could smell what this smells like 
But then I don't want to say that because then you probably want to come over and eat it. So the fish and the fries are all done. My wife, my kids, and my grandkids went to the air show and they got a bucket of hand cut fries. So I'm using that because I made hand cut fries. So a big recap, a quick recap on what we did today. We took some potatoes, we hand cut them. First we par fried them at 325 degrees. Then we double fried them at 365 degrees after they cooled off a bit. This is the result of that. We had a piece, we caught a piece of tilapia. We put it in a bag and poppy oats, which means in parchment. We put some leeks, we put some carrots, we put some white wine with lemon in it. We sealed it up, we put it on the grill, we baked it at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. So if you want to come in, gather around here, this is what it looks like. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. I'm normally not allowed to cook fish in the house because the wife doesn't like the way it smells. So if I do it from now on, I'm definitely going to do it on the grill. Let's get a taste of these fries. Mm. The double crunch. So good. Look at it. It's like carnival fries. So good. You definitely got to give this a try. This is my version of fish and chips. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're smoking it, baking it, curing it, or grilling it, keep doing what you do. Take care.